Good morning, folks. Do not let this calm, earth-facing disk fool you. Despite our primary visible feature being a minor surge through the earth-facing plasma filament, the upticks we've waited for are now getting into full swing. First, the Earth has entered the geocentric opposition of Saturn and the Sun, a moderate solar factor, but a big one for quakes, and we saw a number of large quakes the last three days. But the coronal hold down south was active then as well, and during this time it has lost all power. Well, that's not really true. Its force was simply blocked by the coronal magnetic fields. As this happened, we saw the 6.9s and 6.5s from the start of this uptick turn into lower magnitude rumbles and aftershocks, and the low magnitude swarm continuing at New Zealand. Website members who remember Deeper Look episode 42 know that we get virtually no time off, however, as the current minor solar factor enhances in the coming days, as Mercury is swinging in with Mars behind there as well. This is a recipe for a solar uptick and continued earthquake activity, especially if the next coronal hole maintains its power and position. Now while we're back here, watch the left side of the sun's atmosphere. Do you see the ripple through the corona? This coronal jolt was caused by a titanic explosion on the far side of the sun, not going to hit earth. The sun has been quiet for days, and now the uptick has begun. It may make its way around to the earth-facing side of the sun as well, even though solar flaring thus far has been a continued disappointment. This is because we had significant umbral development last night on the earth-facing side of the sun, and we now have growing spots north and south, but the north ones take my eye as the early signs of a Delta-class magnetic sunspot have appeared. Eyes open there. Solar wind, calming very much so. Earth's magnetic shield is aces this morning. No issues. And that's preferable because many down here on the ground don't have time to look up right now. Not only are rain records being assaulted in the south central United States, but across the globe as well. This is from Turkey. What if I told you this flood occurred from one rainfall that lasted only 30 minutes? That is is an extreme event. Back to the United States where we're again focused on the flood areas where the heat and moisture are coming ashore. Severe storms will hit that area tonight as well and I'd like to remind everyone that just like California saw killer drought punctuated by wild flooding in a quick shift, now it's the turn for this area. Check your local forecasts around lunchtime. In Europe, Please note the northern low detached from the southern systems and becoming confined while the Mediterranean low is getting it together very quickly. The cloud lines match nicely with the strongest being found on the eastern convergence of the southern low. Down under, we're seeing a reorganization and blowout of low pressure north of New Zealand and it is in the process of taking control of the cloud lines here from that convergence that we had eyed for three days in a row. Just eight days left in pre-registration for observing the frontier. We've got the current conditions followed by shots of our star to close. It's 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone. Thank <laughs> you.